that we're in an ocean of infinite rahmah and we're just driftwood, banging on shores, banging left and right. We pray that Allah doesn't tire from us and grant us a najat and salvation and bring us to His shore of rahmah and mercy, to our paradise destination. Alhamdulillah that we are in search of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and we all ask how to get that love with awrad, zikrs and love is such a simple but seems like people forgot how to nourish love, how to keep the love. Love is by its actions, not by words. That the words and lips of people can be very cheap. Everybody can say, I love Sayyidina Muhammad I love Allah Most High, I love you, I love this, I love that. And Allah reminds that a day will come in which the lips will be sealed means that which comes from the lips has one reality. But that which comes through our actions is a whole nother reality. So imagine in our own lives that you love your child, something happens with you and your child is in need of something from someone. You're not there to provide what's needed and somebody else who loves you loves them. That when somebody loves you they show their love in so many ways and those are more significant than the word. So when you love them and somebody comes to the rescue of your child, rescue of your loved one, to be of service to your loved one, that's a sign of love. And when you love somebody, all that they have you love that and you love that for the sake of that love. What they make of food, you like it, you don't like it, doesn't matter to you but because your love for them you love it. Means love is in our actions and it seems like in the computer world now nobody understands it. And they know physical love and this is not what we are talking, these are the, the love that is so pure and for the Divinely Presence, nothing to do with physical and sexual. This is of a Divine nature of the heart. When you have someone you love you support them, you help them and you show that love with every action in your being. So it means that when Prophet shows his love for Allah his entire wujud and being is in that love to promote that love, propagate that love. And all that Sayyidina Muhammad asked for us because different that friends and companions and your students is one level completely different than your family. Every shaykh knows that in an instant, their students, the love they have for student is different. But if the children require something their whole attention is on that issue. So that's a completely different love because that's the way Allah created us and that's the hierarchy and the reality of our existence. So it means the companions have one reality and our love and respect for them an admiration but not comparable, not comparable to the love of this Ahlul Bayt. Because this is the family of Sayyidina Muhammad and all he asked was that love them, take care of them, watch over them. And that has such a dearness to Prophet because it shows our love and what Allah is looking for is not the words because He's promised, I'm going to seal your lips. Praising and the secrets of praising that's something different. But to come across people who only say, no, no I love Sayyidina Muhammad 
that's one. But when Allah's looking for is, I, I want to see it in your actions. I want to see that your actions show your love. So this love for Ahlul Bayt, love for what they suffered, what they went through, who they are by virtue of who they are, love for them, service to them, admiration for them, bringing food for them, naming our entities by their name is all to get the nazar of the sultan and the king, is to get the nazar of Prophet that's why you name your children Hassan, Hussein, Fatima, Zainab. Why? So that in a day of difficulty that come for them, those names are watching and that Prophet's khirqa over all of them. That my nazar upon them because you love them, you showed your love not by your, your mouth but by your actions that you came for the love, you praised for their love, you brought food for their love, you cried at night for their love, their struggling and difficulties. Anyone who has difficulty in life should understand Muharram and if you don't you should be studying Muharram, how you slaughtered the most beloved in creation, obliterated them, shed their blood upon a field and they're not hurting. They're not sad from these events. When you continuously have a nation in the world of lights, the sadness of how that event took place. It doesn't bring a sadness, doesn't bring something where they're looking to see that if you love me, how come you don't love them? How come you don't cry for what happened to them? And I have many grandchildren on this earth. And from these grandchildren 124,000 of them awliya that carry my light, that carry my blood and that carry my secret. So this love and this way of love that they teach is something by action has to be activated. They want to see the action in our lives. When that love takes place within the heart, the Ya Rabbi I love you. And everybody has a moment in difficulty when they hit bottom in life and Allah guides them. They hit their difficulty because in their times of prosperity and exciting things that's not when you're going to remember Allah but Allah bring everybody down and when He brings them down and they have their bottom, Allah those whom He guides grants His Divinely love into their heart and they begin to love God, they love everything about the Divine, they love Allah When Allah want to give more love then He wants, I want you to love what I love. So this is now the higher darajat of love in which they begin to love Sayyidina Muhammad And if that love is coming into the heart correctly, their ishq and their love overwhelms their existence because Allah is directing them, Allah is pushing them, love what I love because you're never going to be in my proximity. But I want you to feel, I want you to feel my reflection and the highest way and only way of that reality that we're describing is to come into the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And Allah's gift begins to emanate and as a result you begin to have this immense love. You don't even know who Sayyidina Muhammad not even seeing Sayyidina Muhammad and you begin to yearn and cry that grant me a glimpse of your Divinely face. And if you should be granted 
Then you begin to cry that, don't take me out of your Divinely face, keep me under your nazar, keep me under your dress, keep me under, under your salvation that pray for me that through every difficulty my survival that you intercede for me, forgive my wrongs. This is through muhabbat and this relation began. And then you begin to think, what Prophet loves? What kind of foods he loves? What's the fragrance he loved? This is in our regular love we do that. The person that you find special in your life, if maybe you can find once in your life, everything about them you want to know. What was their fragrance that they love? What was the food that they love? What was everything that they do and that becomes the people who search out the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Don't you see these are all the acts of love. What was Prophet's favorite fragrance and everybody research is oud and everybody then putting oud all over themselves. Why? Because it's the ishq. The Prophet loved this color, I'm wearing it. The Prophet asked for us to have the beard, I'm wearing it. Prophet brought for us the turban, I'm putting it. These are all love. Everything that we're doing is this ishq and muhabbat and then Prophet began to draw near to us. That your love for me and what you're focusing on, I'm loving you. I'm loving you. And we said before the only thing that makes people to connect is love. All the talks in the world and all the question and answers in the world, they're not going to come to your head for your head to finally think, you know I think you're right. I'm going to love Sayyidina Muhammad It's only through the heart and the good deeds and actions. And when that love overtakes you, you have to be around. Sayyidina Muhammad and he inspires within your soul before you can even see him, then be with those whom carry my light. Because that hadith, you be with whom you love, there are those on this earth that they love me and as a result I love them. They are my blood and they are my light. As you would do for me, do with them minhi wa minhum. We talked about from Imam Hussain, he was describing that his Imam Hussain is from me. Means these awliya, they're from me. And if you love them, you'll find me inside their heart. Minhi wa minhum. They're from me. What you love about them, what you love about their teaching, what you love about the environment and atmosphere and just being in that presence, Prophet is clarifying, it is me, not him. He was driftwood and nothing and he is nothing. As a result of being nothing, the light of Prophet shines through them. It's that nothingness is what we are in search of. When it goes down, who comes? The one whom you love. The one who you, you have faced yourself in front of. That that love and ishq of Prophet comes into that ahbab, that lover. And Prophet is teaching for us that my light is coming through them. As a result they're walking reflections of me, ishq of me and my reality is shining through them. They are taking from my reality and as a result my reality shines through them. Their eyes are through my light, their ears are through my lights, their lips are from my lights, their hands are from my lights, their heart emanating from my lights. And the amount and the immensity of that light is witnessed by the reality of their uloom and their knowledges from the depth of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. 
So then what Prophet wants, be with them. Don't say that you love me and you avoid them. Support them, don't look to their work and to their mission like a caravan that just passing you. So, no I love Sayyidina Muhammad No, if you love Prophet then you would feel that this light is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and then make something dear and sincere in your life. And as my love for you, I'm going to follow them. And as for my love for you, I'm going to show them. And every time you show and you do and you act upon that love, Sayyidina Muhammad is 100% witness to it. What reaches their hand, their hand is the bayah of Allah Inna ladheena yubayyunaka yubayyun Allah, Allah's hand is on their hand. What you give to their hand reach to Allah directly. What you give to their hand reach to the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad That's just from your dunya otherwise how you think their knowledge is, their, the realities and the power that emanating from their souls is coming out. Yadullah means Allah says, my hand and power upon that. That person is now supported by our Divinely Presence. So what you give to them, reach to that reality, not like anything else on this earth. When you talk to them as if you're talking directly to that reality, they hear and see everything into the wujud. They know the condition of a people before they even talk. You're talking about a light from the light of Allah when you email them, you're emailing into that reality. When you interact with them, you're interacting into that reality so they make your faith true. If it's the reality you love, support it. There's a caravan that comes in your life, maybe once in your life. An opportunity from Allah for people make your faith real. The caravan comes and begins to go. Some may stay and some may go. But this is a sign of love and ishq when Prophet is teaching that when you love them, when you're with them, when you eat with them, when you pray with them, I'm with you because you're with my family. I love you and I'll raise you into my presence on the day when we die from this earth and we kept their company in dunya, we kept our love in dunya, we kept our khidmat and our service in dunya, the guarantee of this holy hadith, you be with whom you love. If you loved me, you're going to be with me. If you love them, you're going to be with me. And this is our whole life's journey and the whole life reality was that this is the proof, this is the reality. These are what makes the deen to be real. When other people say, don't support, don't support, don't support, it's shaitan because they want to take away that connection. Then they come and say, why you have to look at them? Why you have to have them broadcasting on your TV? Why you have to read from them? Because Hezbi shaitan want you to block the Muhammadan haqqaiq. What could be better in your life to be looking at them? What could be more important in your life to be hearing them? What could be more important in your life than to breathe the air with them? If you find something more important well, then you should email us, help me at nurmuhammad.com. Because this is from that presence, this is from the heart in which Allah has made the house that qalb al-mu'min baytullah. These are only Allah, their house and their heart is Allah's Divinely Presence. And that's why they are a Kaaba and a Qibla. Kaaba because the, the souls of their students are circumambulating that reality. And a Qibla because they are a compass and a direction that when people look to them and accompany them, they rejuvenate their faith. Take people out on the street right now, send them out and Away from a shaykh you think they're going to remember Allah 
And then their faith began to diminish and diminish, are you praying? No, I'm just tired, work is heavy. Then they stop all their ibadah, stop everything. So what the qibla is, as soon as they come there's an energy emitting like the Holy Kaaba. It's the same reality, their soul is also in the Kaaba. And that light Allah put into their heart that, I'm going to fill your heart with the light of my Nabi'een because if Allah is coming He makes the heart of awliyaullah filled with the lights of Nabi'een. That's why all their Prophets are teaching that soul and then those Prophets are talking to the audience with those ulu their uloom and their knowledges. And in their heart are Siddiqeen, all the holy companions and Ahlul Bayt. The light of their reality accompanies that heart. Shuhada and all those whom are Ahlul Basira and they see they're accompanying that holy heart, supporting in teaching and guiding and Salihin that Allah encompasses them around pious people. Because they're Kaaba they don't go, they don't have nightclubs, they don't have the, these types of dirty people. Allah put His Salihin around these real realities and people whom He wants them to become Salihin, they begin to circumambulate around that reality. From here all the way out throughout the internet, throughout the whole of this earth is being covered by these realities. The circumambulate means what? What did we teach about in tawaf? Tawaf that which you circumambulate is your focus. Dunya people they circumambulate their car. That's why they're posting 500 pictures of cars that they don't even own. Why? Because they're making tawaf around their dunya. They're making tawaf around, they're mesmerized by it and that is filling their heart. When you make tawaf around Divinely means your focus is on them, your focus is on Allah your focus is on reaching these realities of Allah Your focus is on the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Every time you tune in, every day that you watch, every article that you read, these are then the way of realities and the reality of love and muhabbat and to support that what you believe in, participate in that which you believe in, love that which you believe in. And that is what develops the love for Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, as salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad Mustafa bi Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.